But when there is fear, we're hardwired to rev up and to activate the sympathetic nervous system into fight, flight, freeze. It's not our best coping or we can deactivate and shut down into numbing out and collapsing, and that's not coping either. So we need to teach clients tools that they can use to very quickly restore their equilibrium, their centeredness, their groundedness, their equanimity, so they can deal and carry on. So one of the first techniques that I teach clients is, or teach clinicians to teach their clients, is called hand on the heart and it's powerful enough to calm down a panic attack in less than a minute. So I'm going to lead you through it at home. You simply first place your own hand on your own heart and feel the warm touch of your hand on your heart. And then to begin to breathe deeply and slowly into your heart center, calming deep breaths where the exhale is longer than the inhale. And then if you wish, you can breathe into your heart center a sense of ease and calm and trust and safety, a sense of goodness. And then you or you have your clients take a moment to remember a moment of feeling safe and loved and cherished with someone. This could be a spouse or a child. It could be a good friend or a therapist. It could be a teacher back in the third grade. It could even be a pet, and pets are actually very great for this, or a spiritual figure. But as you remember this moment, just one moment, of feeling safe and loved and cherished, you let yourself feel the feelings in the body, often a warm glow. And then in teaching the exercise, <clears throat> you would have your clients stay there for 30 minutes, I mean for 30 seconds absorbing that feeling. So what's happening when we use hand on the heart is that both the warm touch of the hand on the heart and remembering feeling safe and loved and cherished with someone activates the release of oxytocin. And oxytocin is the brain's direct and immediate antidote <clears throat> to the stress hormone cortisol. It's the neurotransmitter of safety and trust of bonding and belonging, such as we experience in secure attachment, and of calm and connect. So when we can teach clients to activate the release of oxytocin, we can not only calm down a stress response immediately, we can very often preempt the stress response from coming up in the first place. So touch is the fastest way to release oxytocin in the brain, and there are many, many ways that we can do that. It doesn't even have to go through conscious processing. We can do it through touch, like um, head rubs or foot rubs, or massaging the back of the neck. That's where the brain stem is, which is loaded with oxytocin receptors. <clears throat> and so when we massage the back of the neck, we're, we're actually giving ourselves a hit of oxytocin, which you can do very quietly and surreptitiously in a meeting. Stan Hatkin at UCLA found that hugs, a 20-second full-body hug, which means a full-body hug, not the A-frame that we're used to doing, but a full-body hug, is enough to activate the release of oxytocin. So any ways that we can teach clients to use warm, safe touch to activate this hormone of safety and trust is a wonderful technique to pass on to them. And to do that at the very first sensation of anxiety, or even to do it many times as they go throughout their day.